Hey campers, this is Dr. White. Today we're discussing how to calculate equilibrium concentrations. Okay, so let's take a simple, uh, let's do a simple example problem here. Let's consider uh, nitrogen reacting with hydrogen in equilibrium with ammonia. Okay, this is called the Haber process. Okay, at equilibrium, let's assume that we have uh, a partial pressure of nitrogen of 0.432. Our partial pressure of hydrogen is 0.928. What then would be our partial pressure of ammonia if our equilibrium constant is equal to 1.45 times 10, times 10 to the minus 5? Okay. The way we solve this, we're going to use the equilibrium constant expression KEQ is equal to the partial pressure of ammonia. Okay, that's going to be squared because of this two up here over the partial pressure of nitrogen times the uh, partial pressure of hydrogen. And that's cubed due to the three that's in the uh, equation up there. Okay, so using this equation, let's draw it out here. So KEQ equals 1.45 times 10 to the minus 5. That's going to be equal to x squared, right? Because we're looking for our partial pressure of ammonia. We don't know that. That's going to be our x value right here because we don't know it. Over our partial pressure of nitrogen, which is 0.432, times our partial pressure of hydrogen, which is 0.928. Okay. Now, if we work this out, we can solve for x, and we'll find that x equals... And if you want to solve this yourself right now, you can go ahead and pause it and try to work it out so that you can figure out for yourself what x is going to equal. x is going to equal the square root of 5.01 times 10 to the minus 6. In other words, that's going to be 2.24 times 10 to the minus 3 atmospheres. And that's going to be our partial pressure of ammonia. Okay? So, just to recap, okay, if you know the KEQ value here, okay, you can write a KEQ expression and just plug in your values, and then you can solve for whatever you don't know. Just make that your x, okay? And then it's pretty simple to get through to the uh, to solve for just the one x value, okay? Next time we're going to look at a more complex calculation where you don't know the equilibrium concentrations; you only know the initial concentrations. But uh, that'll be next time. This is Dr. White signing off. Thanks a lot.